Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. So thrilled to see you again. We seeing you again, and that's the Soto Brown and Martin Despain. Yes, it is. Here on Human Human Architecture. Yes, we are. And we're broadcasting live here from our crime scene capital of yes. Honolulu, Hawaii. That's exactly is that right? right. That's exactly right. Why is that? Well, don't get it. Why is it? It's because. Da, 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 da. Let's go to the that second slide. Like the next picture here. There it is. Uh -huh. It's Hawaii Five O, and even you in Germany thought this was a crime capital because you saw Five O, didn't you? Oh yeah, big times, which you will see later. But let's go and start slow. Next picture, because the show is called Hawaii Five O Actor Architecture. Yeah. The main human actor is this gentleman here yes, that we had pointed out, Jack Lord. Yes, it is. Who is playing McGarrett, and he's associated with architecture, as we previously pointed out in these two shows, because he lived both in the Kahala apartments yes. up there, as the, actually at that one of these corner units, right, yes, he, he told did. me. And he also lived in this upper corner where he's actually standing there in the Ilikai Hotel. That's right. right? And I didn't realize until just recently that that opening shot in the, in the opening credits of him zooming in from the helicopter mm -hmm. was actually where he lived at the time. Yeah, so exactly. he didn't he even have to go outside his apartment to be <laughs> he filmed. filmed at home. That's yeah. right. How very convenient. So talking for him. opening credits, uh, next picture. These are a couple that I took. So sorry for the uh, quality of the images. That was me with my iPhone at night watching these, that's getting all right. excited about it. That's all right. And what it shows, sure, it shows a volcano that's called Diamond Head. Sure, it shows some blue water, and I think we can see some palm trees somewhere there. But as you can clearly see, the main features in these opening scenes are iconic pieces of architecture. Yeah, and let's just let's just tell people that the the top row that's the Waikiki Circle Apartments, I believe. Unless that's that maybe that's that uh, condo that's down by um, that's down by by uh, Don Quixote. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's right. The one. Mm -hmm. Aloha Tower. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, and of course at the time that they shot this, 1967, 68, there were not as many high rises. Exactly. But you can see the Royal Hawaiian Hotel. You can see the Ilikai Hotel, and you can also see the Pan American Building, mm -hmm. which is on Kapiolani Boulevard. And I think we. Showed pictures of that when we did our brutalism show. Yeah, and we want to now go next picture. We're going to go to a couple of other ones that the audience should all know because we have touched on these That's in right. shows. This That's one right. here actually dedicated an entire show that we called "By High Shorebirds" because it's about the restaurant that used to be. And luckily, kudos to the people that must have listened. They sort of kept it in that in that lower part. And this is the Outrigger Reef, and um, you know it's pretty much still there. So it it was cool back then, and it's still mm -hmm. cool. And as we advise the owner, please uh, whatever you do, do it within Correct. the integrity of the project. And there's been discussion about the demolition of that, as I remember. Exactly. We've talked about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And same thing with the next uh, project here. This is one of our very first. Uh, next picture, please. One of our very first projects, which we called Cool. Commercial classic by architect John Graham at the bottom right, who did the Space Needle in Seattle at the World's Fair yep. a year after here, and he tested the uh, La Ronde Restaurant, mm -hmm. which is a rotating uh, flying right. saucer. That's right. And here it is, lit up with neon wrapped around it. Right. And that is one of the major, yes. you know, images so iconic to yes. basically get the message across. This isn't some kind of hula skirt grass hut That's place. Right. This is a metropolis. That's right. And this is a really dramatic shot in the opening sequence in which it's silhouetted against the nighttime sky of a sunset. And the camera zooms right in on that blue neon to show you, as you said, here's mm -hmm. this modern flying saucer yeah. building. Yeah, yeah. And there were other buildings equally uh, showcased as iconic. Next picture. So this is uh, the bottom right, as we pointed out in a show that uh, in the Elvis Blue Hawaii movie here with his girlfriend, they do this picnic up on Tantalus. Correct. And they do it next to showcasing the first tall building, which is the Ala Moana building. Right. And then there's, which is the other one that you see in large. Well, and then that's Jack Lord as uh, McGarrett at Kewalo Basin. And in the background is the 1350 Ala Moana condo. Oh, that, and really? That's, and that was a very 
very big building at the time because it had no high rises around it. So that's one of my out. other favorites. Let's do a show about that one. All right. And this is a Yamazaki the... building. Just to remind the audience, this is the guy who built the World Trade Center towers. Tragically, oh, yeah. the ones who came down. Yeah. He's yeah. a very great architect. He did Queen Emma Garden. Oh, correct. So he's a guy we should do oh, we shows will. about. Yeah. We will. Let's we do that. Will. So right. um, let's move on here because there's more to see. This f little goofy map here we showed in previous shows, which is from the 60s, where they basically were pointing out in these little uh, iconographic little doodles there, the, the architecture of the time that they thought That's were right. were outstanding, right? Correct. And it's almost like that, that the script uh, players there were basically using this map as to craft shows around them. Right. There's the dome, the Kaiser Dome, Bucky right. Fuller's Dome. With a with a Mercedes in front of it. Exactly, That's these are the bad guys, right? They are the bad guys, I remember that one, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And which is the one on the left? And then on the left there is Jack Lord pointing, he's pointing at the Ely Kai Hotel, but in the background is the Waikikian Hotel, which used to be a separate building and it had these two very cool buildings mm -hmm. as part of the complex, which both have been demolished. And, and they have been replaced by something rather unerotic, exotic, something rather um, invasive. And, and it is, if we can use the words of former mayor, uh, former governor uh, Neil Abercrombie, a giant cereal box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, next picture, we guess we have more. So the next one. Well, the next one, there it is. See, there is the Ilikai, as we talked about. Right. And the bottom one is that show we did about the Ilikai right. a couple of shows ago. And, right. you know, they were theming the entire episode around. They were filming outside with these fountains, inside with these sort of Asian-inspired um, hotel rooms. So, you know, the, 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 the point of our show is the Ilikai was a main actor oh, was. in that episode. Yeah, right? it was. And so in this particular one in the background, you can see the Alawai Yacht Harbor, or Boat Harbor, mm -hmm. and McGarrett is ready to climb up the exterior of mm -hmm. the Ilikai Hotel because mm -hmm. that's the kind of a guy he is. Exactly. So next one is He's another building. Yeah, and so this is, uh, according to our previous guest, Will Bruder here, this is uh, one of his favorite buildings on the island, if not his favorite, and he says this is the best capital in the United States. That means something, and so no surprise, it became a, another actor mm -hmm. uh, in in the, in in the five movies, right? And in the, in the black and white picture, you can see Jack Lord with Richard Denning, mm -hmm. who was the character actor who played the governor of the state of Hawaii throughout mm -hmm. most mm -hmm. of the series. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, the governor theoretically has his office mm -hmm. in the Capitol building. So. All right, let's go to the next picture because let's. there's more to talk about that one. Right. So in the next one... In the next one. In the next picture. In the next picture, that is. Well, in the next picture, when we get there, <laughs> exactly. is going to be. We, we see two actors. One is basically the palace. That's right. right. That's and, right. And the other one is a car. That's and exactly that's, right. And that's the famous Mercury. If we can still Correct. try to get that picture that goes with our words. Right. The, uh, there it there is. We there go. we are. There we are. Okay, so the five O offices were supposedly located on the second floor of Iolani Palace, mm -hmm. and Jack Lord always drove his Mercury up to park right in front of the palace because, mm -hmm. of course, he had a, yeah. a reserved space there. Mm -hmm. And interestingly, in the set that they built for the interior of Jack Lord's office, the five O office, they did in fact incorporate a replica of the actual railing of the second yeah, yeah, floor yeah. of the palace. So yeah. when you looked out through the Venetian blinds, yeah, you yeah. thought that you were really there. And one thing I recognize in the early episode, and the the, early, the very opening scene in the very first one, uh, I made Peter Shee very happy, which we did a show with him, the exotic entrepreneur at the bottom right picture, that's a show with him, because he can see McGarrett's car Mercury driving by his building in, in Chinatown, right. and you the also then, building. yeah, and then you also see basically Jack Lord, uh, McGarrett, uh, you know, running up the stair in yes. his office in the Ilikai, and there is a huge architectural model of the oh, Capitol. Yeah. yeah, not in the Ilikai, in the palace. In the palace, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. that's right. Absolutely. And so the pa in the 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 Capitol, which we just saw. They were acknowledging that the capital was under construction mm -hmm, at that time mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in Iolani Palace. And I also can say that when the palace was under renovation, they showed it in the show that it was being renovated. Mm -hmm. And they moved the 5 fictional offices to another building to mm -hmm. acknowledge that mm -hmm. renovation. Absolutely. So let's go to the next picture here. 
So, and this is an, a previous show about the Makaha Resort, and again, the thing is the main place, and even they point out the planning part of that, and if you want to know more guys, uh, watch the show so we can move on to the next one, because this is sort of about culture in the yeah. 60s, sort of the in, sort of twist on culture, yes. and so we were asking how, do, do, are they interested in the, in the sense of place, how they call it here, Correct. and you provided these two pictures and said, well, sort of. But I, you know, uh, respectfully sort of uh, disagreed because I found this one episode, yes. which is sort of shedding a light on the sprawl, very early beginning of sprawl, heading out west and basically, you know, pointing out the conflict between the locals yes. being on the lower yes. uh, end of the paycheck side, right, and basically having to go out there and be pushed out. And so yeah. this was, is, it's interesting you, because you don't find that in uh, addressed, you know, the, in the new ones we will get to, yeah. uh, you know, the, the, the island is pretty much a pretty, a pretty uh, wallpaper background, Correct. and they don't engage in, in issues, especially not in critical issues, yeah. to the degree they have done that. Yeah, and that, was, and that was also at the time in the real world where there was a lot of environmental discussion, yeah, and yeah. that for the first time we were, we were addressing those types exactly. of things. Exactly, and we, when I came to the island, that's top right, the picture there is when I was approached with, uh, you know, rethinking how we build for locals, the Hawaiian homeland. Yes. So I'm, I'm sort of, I mean, I was exposed to that issue, which is more than ever, you know, out there as an issue. And isn't it great when you basically edutain yourself and you watch, and at the same time you learn and you get critically engaged yeah. as being, you know, passively just basically seeing people Correct. getting shot. So Correct. I mean, Correct. this was right. about crime as... But behind that, there were sort of pretty substantial, pretty solid Correct. stories around local issues. Because the crime issues. occurred because of the environmental damage. Exactly. Because of somebody exactly. was protesting mm -hmm. against it in yeah. the plot of that particular episode. So it was, yeah. So next picture. Um, so talking, talking uh, culture here. Yeah. So you basically being the um, the, oh, uh, the, the curator. The... Let's call you the curator of culture here oh. on the island. So they also went to you and visited you. Well, yes, they actually did because they, there's uh, they filmed at Bishop Museum where I work. They filmed there several times. There's a picture of the Bishop Museum Planetarium Dome behind Jack Lord and his guest star Samantha Eggers, and in the bottom you can see the picture of the planetarium building when it was first constructed. Mm -hmm. And I will say that when I first worked at Bishop Museum as a volunteer in 1969, mm -hmm. I got to watch a film, the filming of one of the 5 episodes Here you go. right in Hawaiian Hall. Here. And that was really exciting. Here's the sort of the eyewitness again. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so me. if we go to the next picture, we can also see they also go to where most visitors basically arrive on the island. So obviously the airport as another sort of um, icon of of modern Hawaii because you know previously you could only come here you know by, by ship by ship That's for right. a long way and so right. so basically the um, the era of of uh, mass transport through the air you yes. know is also highly capitalized yeah. on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The jet age. I mean this exactly. is what this is tourism exactly. boomed. Exactly. And because then also the the, the, the 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 shows were promoting the island of course and were sort of getting people interested in potentially coming here. So it went yeah. both ways, right? Oh, so yeah. it was a win win situation for everyone. Yeah. So next uh, picture is pointing out to our um, yeah. activist journalist Kurt Sandburn and you can read here which his favorite season episode is season five and episode 23, which he was thrilled to say this is basically the quintessence of mid-century modern actors and lots of them in, in one show. So right. if you guys want to watch that, you should, according to, and I have, and it's, it is thrilling. Yeah, and uh, he says it's 1973. Yeah, exactly. And it's, we it's got a photograph. The Diamonds That Nobody Stole, is, that's what the episode is called. Right, and they did a lot of location filming, and the picture on the right, show, the left, shows... Uh, shot in a street in downtown Honolulu with one of the character actors mm -hmm, who was mm -hmm. part of that particular mm -hmm, series. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I wanted to just say, too, that nowadays when you watch Five O, these old episodes, yeah. you're probably going to be more interested in the um, the settings yeah, yeah. and the buildings and the cars and all the other stuff then than you are in the plot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So um, with, with Kurt, I always respectfully argue um, the... Topic of Aloha shirts, so we go to the next yep. picture. Because I took this here, most importantly is the picture top left, because they really dwell on almost in an obsessive way 
uh, on construction sites yes. because construction sites are the symbol of the boom mm -hmm. and they basically almost fetishize construction sites. You see construction sites in almost every episode. And they were all over the place. They were. At and that this time. one here, you see this little boy running and he comes by and you see on the second picture on the top, you see it's in a lower shirt and then once you're sorry for being so blurred because it was me taking the picture off the screen. But you, you see this is not a coconut, this is not some kind of ticky thing. This is a VW bug. Yep. So the theme, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not sort of um, Hawaiiana, right? It's not dwelling upon some sentimentality. No, it's, it's very again, interestingly going on the edge of, absolutely. of an exotic place, but that is very, very modern, yes, right? Yes, exactly. Time. That's exactly what they're doing. And so let's right. move on. You see more guest stars here, yes. more settings. Yes. Very iconic architecture here too, which we don't see, but it's on the left. Correct. They filmed a lot of this particular episode at the Waikiki Shell. Mm -hmm. The guest star was uh, Nancy Wilson, who was an actual singer in real life. And the plot was that she was a heroin addict, which you find out at the end. Mm -hmm. But they shot a lot of it on the stage mm -hmm. in the grounds of mm -hmm. the shell, mm -hmm. which is a scenic yeah. place. And the shell is a famous actor because that's a Pete Wimbley building, by the and way. And it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It is, indeed. Next picture. And this is still in Waikiki as well. This is the McCoy Pavilion at Ala Moana Park, and that is Rich Little, who was a guest star on an episode. And mm -hmm. he's performing as a comedian, and he's standing next to the reflecting pool. Uh, one of the iconic banyan trees is in the background with the Art Deco yeah. cement structures around it. Yeah. And so, um, next picture, I have to thank uh, my best friend, Stefan, who you see at the bottom right. And doesn't he look like the next generation actor for <laughs> Steve McGarrett? So, Stefan, hi, thank you very much, because Stefan gave me uh, what you see on the left, and if the, can, if the camera can get to studio as well, you will see the, the actual thing here, or we see it in the top right. Oh, no, take it, put it back. Uh, it's put okay, it back. I put it back. There, there it is. Go. So, it's called Hawaii 5.0, and 5 means 5. So people watch that, people buy that here and now, and they buy the old stuff, primarily. And I find and it very amusing that it has a it? German title. Yeah, and go to the uh, next uh, page here, uh, picture. The, um, the, um, Stefan also donated something that he had on his coffee table that's at the very top left, and this is his TV program. Right. And in the center of it, and on one channel, at prime time, Saturday evening, 8 p.m., they're showing Hawaii Five O, the new series. Yes, the current one. So we were interested what kind of architecture Ooh. plays a role in that one, and so you Google, and you don't find a single piece of architecture. No. And I asked Stefan, he said, you're right. Basically, architecture is just a background. And it's so generic that it could be in Miami. They're not dwelling. They're not crafting. They're not interested in the architecture. So the architecture is not an actor anymore. Correct. It's just a background. Right. Pretty much. And that's um, also the case for, uh, because they stopped doing the original series in 1970. You 1980. Say, right? 1980. Sorry, 1980. yeah. It went through the 70s. Correct. So in the 80s, next picture, another series took over. because, yeah, And that's, that's what right. I remember. Right. Because uh, that's how most of us looked. I and mean, we looked like at the top left. That's the, right. Huge both, hair. We had big hair. We, we had, had big hair. hair. It was and, big. And, and way back, there was at the bottom, you can see in a couple of the pictures, you can see Don Johnson and his colleague. And they were the stars. Yeah. They were the star actors. And just like Hawaii Five O, they're now doing a, a, a redux version of yes. it, uh, a new version with new characters. But in both cases, and I just happened to uh, watch one the other day, mm -hmm. and it was in a the crime scene was in a high rise. Right. It was all glazed. Right. It was all air conditioned. I mean, it had to be because you yeah. could see they were you know pretty much you know suit and tied in there. Yeah, yeah. And and it it didn't matter which building it was. It wasn't about in the old days. It was said this is thirteen fifty. In yeah, that's right. This is a Yamazaki right. building. That's right. It's put it in there. That's right. And this, by the way, there's another show we're planning to do, um, which is called Henry's Hawaii Home, and that's Henry yeah. Kaiser that we have pointed out quite a bit in a couple and of shows. And he built his own house here. There's an episode called, called Samurai, yep. and it plays majorly, not to say entirely, in his cool mid-century modern yes. house. Right. 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 So we'll be seeing the Henry J. Kaiser we will house do that. too. And what's the relation back to architecture? Next picture here, and also to Miami because yeah. both are a pretty much coastal urban metropolis, right. right? Correct. And at the top left picture, this was in the opening you know, scene of Miami Vice, 
that was one main actor that was this building and this is called the Atlantis the architect is Architectonica and they're known to some of us who had paid attention and this was something that Kurt got really excited about and we had some interesting discussions about it because I wasn't quite as excited as he was. he was and that was <laughs> supposed to be called the Vida and it's a um, McNaughton Kabayashi uh, right. development that's on hold currently and right. it was supposed to be on Alamoana Boulevard yes sort of on the edge of Kakaako on the Eva edge right next to uh, Ward Plaza exactly that tragic one that yeah. jewel that they tear down as well yes. and so this building was pretty much a um, um, the uh, international style box that's pretty invasive yes. and got imported to a tropical climate of that's course right. was overheating yes so quoting Governor Amber Crombie with a cereal box you could say this is a microwave right. cereal box. It's That's microwaving right. cereal. And so, but they were exoticizing it by throwing these little, you know, details on it, like these yellow balconies. And, uh, and you pointed out that the, the whole talking crime scenes, they were shooting this hole through the building. Right. A bullet. Right. A square bullet. Right. Leaving a square hole. But at least had the performative function that there was a, the pool was in there. And there was this spiral staircase. Whereas at the right, this is a, a, off the internet, a rendering of the current bottom left under construction, how it used a Portable. Right. And I was thinking, hmm, you know, doesn't it look like they look rather the similar? Same? Yes, they do. But then again, one was from the 80s, quite dated. Yes. And this is here and now. And again, shouldn't we do better? And we keep dreaming bottom left that they don't do the bottom stuff. They keep the top stuff, which mm -hmm. is the easy breezy inhabiting right. of the ruins. Correct. Right. Uh, and 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 dress for less, as we Correct. pointed out Correct. yesterday. Correct. That's right. Know. That's right. It's where so, you don't have to wear a lot of clothes. You don't have to put on a lot of and, glazing. And, and, and listen, these are great analogies. Let's keep doing that. Let's go to the next picture because we've been using automobiles, yeah. cars, as there vehicles for thought. There we are. So let's be some little more philosophical here. So right. just like in the car industry, there was we start at the top row on the left. We had the Mini Cooper, we had the Cinquecento, the Fiat 500, we had the Bug. And all three, all three car companies, and you could include Ford uh, with their Mustangs yes. or uh, Chrysler with their Challengers. Yes. They basically thought, okay, these cars were so good sellers, so just let make a remake of it. Right. And they just were tweaking the style in a, in a retro way, mm -hmm. but they basically kept it. Yes. And um, I and so there, there's no danger here of being nationalist because I was already accusing VW to do the same, which right. we did with the Beetle. Right. But then uh, the fourth from the left uh, is that little thing, and that's how you guys called it in America, the thing. Uh, no, that's not the thing. Uh, that's not the thing. That's, that's the ugly thing. duck. That's the ugly that's duck. The, that's yeah, the, that's the thing the, we talked about as correct. well. But that's that's a different that's a different thing. But the ugly duck, which is the original name, is the Citroen des Chevaux. Mm -hmm. Without that one. I wouldn't sit here because my dad picked up my mom in Austria when he was a poor architectural student and yes. picked up that cute uh, um, that, Austrian girl. Yeah. So this is family tradition, but why is this important? Because at the bottom, when uh, Citroen, just like the other car makers, uh, recognized how good yeah. of a seller that was, right. it didn't make the same mistakes as the other ones. They basically said, well, what was the essence? What was the soul? What was the idea? What was the motivation of that car? So let's get this idea back and make it something of our time. And Correct. that specific model was called the Pluriel. And they market it, and this is what this picture shows, five cars in one. So in certain stages, you can take off more parts. Yes. So you have from a closed car to yeah. a semi-convertible to a full convertible to a Correct. pickup truck. And the originals had, originally when they were all built, they had a back canvas section. Exactly. For the, for they the, could the roll down. Exactly. Right. Can roll right. down. There are two left on the island. Have you seen them? One I is have. a really old one with a corrugated metal I've seen still. It. And I've someone seen it. imported one from the Netherlands recently, a red oh. one that's in, the, in your neighborhood. Oh, it's I know that one. Yeah. Know that one yes he, he just got that yes here. yes and the last car there is when you were talking 60s when you were an architect you had to drive that car that's yeah. a citroen bs <laughs> well in, in europe you did you did i yeah. mean this was the car to drive and so the bottom picture is here a uh, bottom picture on the right uh, to this is a picture that my youngest son lenny took and um uh, he drives ADS, but the one on the right. Yeah. And they did the same one. thing that they were saying, hey, let's just get this, the quintessence of the car and let's rethink it uh, substantially. And then uh, automatically it won't look like the old one, but exactly. hopefully it's as innovative at its right. time as it and is. And it does not have to be an imitation that looks no. exactly no. like or no. that is trying yeah. to imitate yeah, yeah. the other ones. And you also pointed, and you also, I like how you incorporated 
the crime fighters. We've got mm -hmm. the two crime fighters at the top from the original series, and then we got mm -hmm. the two mm -hmm. remake people with the same character exactly. names beneath yeah, them. Yeah, and we also want to dedicate the show you agreed to my yeah. oldest son, Joey, yeah. who on May Day today turned a quarter of a century old or young. Boy, he's and old. both of them have now sold the white one, and they're now owning a cool black one. So then well, the picture is complete with a with a white and black. Well, there we go. I so hope everybody's happy. Congratulations, Joey, again. All the best, <laughs> uh, health and happiness, first and foremost. And so next picture, let's go back to architecture. Yeah. Uh, we have talked about our office in Munich a couple of times, which is also the evolution of tradition. And so uh, the, the top writing there is interesting because it's obviously der, the German because it has the umlaut, the dots yes. above, above the U. And what happened, next picture in this here, that we also have um, a Hawaii 5, we had a, a Hawaii 5 uh, phenomenon, sort of. Yes. Because there was a production, uh, um, TV production coming to us and basically saying, we want to film in your building. And yeah. the series is called Rosenheim Cops. And you can see on that uh, yellow sign, That's this is how says. city signs look in Germany. Okay. And so it's named after a city, and yeah. cops is obviously cops. And just like in Hawaii 5.0, they dwell upon the local culture. So yes. you got the Durndals there, which, you know, in the show with Suzanne, you know, tropical tourism, she was sharing her traditional <laughs> attire, the Durndal. <laughs> and you got the onion towers, and you got, you got that. So they really dwell, they make it local. Local, but again, it's it's a really rich and saturated cultural background to be the scene for right. the crimes, right? Correct. Correct. So um, the top one is, and this is the office of my sister and her business partner, Isabel, and they, they run it. And so they got quite some mileage out of the project is publications. And yes. that's how the production company heard of it and basically said, well, this must sort of be cool, so why don't we use we'll it film for it. four hours? So right. we're, we're familiar with the phenomenon. Exactly, and they put the fake sign and, and, on and your they, building. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So we can go back exactly, we have to explain that, yeah. because, so uh, to, because I've witnessed on my, the wall, uh, on Queen's yes. Beach in Waikiki, when they yes. were filming, and the crew came basically and basically took off all the yeah. signs, like no diving and right. don't litter, to purify it, right? right, to make it more clean. And look, right. in our case, we can get back one picture here they did the opposite because we like to have the uh, building to be more pure right without and, a sign uh, and without a sign so they basically put the sign on right yeah, yeah. so um, we're phasing out here so the next uh, second to last picture the next picture please is um, we're saying uh, get please uh, use that and if we can get the camera to studio here uh, please get this here Please get this here. Yes. This is uh, this is a box, and it contains these three here. Right. And these three contain uh, 76 DVDs with 278 episodes from all 12 seasons. Yeah. And I spot myself in getting these, and I will go through them, and they're going to be, if we can get back to the second to last picture, use them as inspiration for uh, projects we do that try to be in the tradition of um, innovative um, um, evolution here on the island. As for example, this scene was shot in a parking garage and these double T's we're investigating and using it for at the bottom right, uh, Primitiva 2, which is currently under production. Yeah, in your and class. Exactly, and uh, it shed another light on that in the, in the last picture, which is about what, DeSoto? Well, this is Primitiva, oh, not that one, this mm -hmm. one. This is uh, this is prima, the top is Primitiva too, is it not? It is. That's it is. A, that's it's another rendition. shot, hot of the press, um, basically showing off its, um, its lifestyle, right? Its attributes. Mm -hmm. And in the lower left, there's the Treehouse Apartments, which used to be located in Waikiki. And you were pointing out that it has this tree-like structure of the trunk coming up and branches coming out. We've got that cantilevered building as well, with the central structure and the two levels sticking mm -hmm. out of it, mm -hmm. and you saying that this is kind of inspirational to you. It is, but but again, we're also saying it's not literally, so it's not Correct. retro retroing right. it. We're That's not exactly right. making the same building right. and tweaking it a little bit. It's but different. we're thinking about the anatomy mm -hmm. of the building and the idea of structure being expressive and logic. Yes. And uh, obviously doing single loaded corridor and all these things. And then we're looking into technologies of today as the double T's and we're, we're going from there. So we're like, like every culture should, it shouldn't stand still. No, it can't. And sort of be sentimental about itself no, and saying it how can't. cute were we in the, ba in the exactly. past. And no. then we're starting to fake it because that's what Alani does, right? Yeah. Everything that looks oh, yeah. like wood and you knock oh, it, yeah. it's fiberglass. That's right. 
So this is the opposite. This is saying, well, we're, we're as innovative, but we're differently because we have right. moved on. We should be more innovative because that was then and now is now, right? That's absolutely right. And that's right. what we do. That's absolutely right. So um, we're going to show a similar building. We're going to theme a show, the next show about a similar building. And we're going to call the show the uh, Paradisal Presidents, Presidential Paradises. That's, that sounds rather suspicious. That right? sounds pretty interesting. I right. wonder what's going to be on it. We don't, we're not going to tell because you guys got to watch it. That's right. right. That's next week. So until then, uh, stay healthy and happy and especially stay criminally cool. We look forward to see you next week. Bye-bye.